So what my lab works on is how genes are turned on and turned off, and this is called epigenetics. It happens because small chemical tags, or a bit like punctuation marks, are added onto our DNA. So these punctuation marks tell the cell, a bit like an exclamation mark saying, use me now, turn me on, or a full stop saying, turn me off and keep me silent. And what we work on is how these punctuation marks are added onto the genome and how they're then interpreted by the cell. We've also taken a brand new gene that I discovered during my PhD, and we've now found through our collaborators that that is mutated in human disease. And the, the particular advantage that we now have here is that we know how to switch that gene on. And so we're very excited in that regard because it may be a new treatment for a particular class of muscular dystrophy, a very common form of muscular dystrophy. Over the next five years, I think the biggest changes for the field of epigenetics will be that we'll understand more about what's happening right down within the nucleus of the cell. The nitty gritty will be how these different proteins interact and actually lock onto the DNA and turn a gene off. By understanding that, what I think will happen within the next five or ten years will be that we'll have new classes of drugs to treat disease. These sorts of drugs at the moment are still very rare, but they're the ones that are called the silver bullet. So they're the ones that we believe really target that disease specifically, and that means that they'll have fewer side effects and they'll have a far better outcome for the patient. This will be the major advance. We'll be able to find more of these sorts of drugs by studying the basic molecular mechanisms.